This just in, potentially more snow on the way to southern Manitoba this weekend. How much? Well, let's get into it. Let's go. Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Justin with the Weather Center of Manitoba coming to you from Brandon with another weather update here for you on our YouTube channel. And first of all, we're going to check out our uh, latest 18Z High Rapid Refresh weather model, our precipitation type model here going into uh, Saturday morning. We see these tight ISO bars lining up here across uh, southwestern Manitoba, which means we're going to have some gusty south winds in advance of our little clipper system moving in for Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. So we'll get some gusty winds Saturday morning, and then those winds will generally move eastward throughout the rest of southern Manitoba as we get toward the noon hour Saturday. And then we get, according to the high rapid refresh model, our first area of snow here setting up across western Manitoba as early as the noon hour Saturday afternoon. And then we continue moving the model here forward and we see that snow continues to pummel the parklands region of western Manitoba, places like um, Riding Mountain National Park, Dauphin, Gilbert Plains, Roblin Russell, up towards Duck Mountain Park, even maybe even up towards Swan River, according to the high rapid refresh model. Might get a little bit of rain showers, uh, mixing with some snow down across far southwestern Manitoba. But again, I want you to focus here on this heavy band of snow inundating western uh, Manitoba and now pushing into the interlake region as we go into Saturday night. This is about 9 p.m. Saturday evening. And we continue going and then our low pressure system really ramps up here across northwestern Minnesota. We got a 994 millibar low pressure system. Lots of wind wrapping behind this system and we have quite a just a large widespread area of snow here on the high rapid refresh model by late Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then the snow kind of fills in across the Red River Valley in southeastern Manitoba as we wake up on Sunday morning and uh, and the low kind of retrogrades and sits uh, over northwestern Ontario and continues to dump snowfall here across southeastern Manitoba as we get around the noon hour of Sunday. So that's the high rapid refresh model and uh, let's check out the snowfall amounts that it's showing. All right, so here's the high rapid refresh model once again and we got our expected snowfall totals according to this particular model. And we see as we run through time, we got two areas to watch. Again, we got kind of uh, the parklands region of uh, western Manitoba as one area to watch. And then we have kind of the white shell region uh, swinging back southwest through Winnipeg and the Red River Valley as a potential another area for heavy snow Saturday night into Sunday morning. And in these areas, especially here across the parkland region of Manitoba, we definitely have a chance for 20 to potentially 30 centimeters of snow in the higher elevations of, of the parklands region. And then the white shell region, we got about a 10 to, to 20 centimeter snowfall dump potentially, according to the high rapid refresh model in that area going into Sunday morning. Okay, so now we go and check out our NAM model. This is another model similar to the high rapid refresh, but it's more of a mid-range weather model that we use and uh, also currently showing our precipitation type as we go into the next few days and we see the NAM model is a little further south with the uh, snowfall band and precipitation. A high rapid refresh was more kind of this area with the heaviest snowfall. However, now we have the NAM bringing it further south into that southwest corner of Manitoba and the Brandon Westman region. And as we go through time, it, it, it brings it more uh, directly along the Trans-Canada Highway, even points south into Winnipeg and the Red River Valley, again by Sunday morning, and then uh, eventually pushes off into northwestern Ontario by Sunday afternoon. But again, where the high rapid refresh was something like this for the heaviest snow, we've got the NAM model now coming in and bringing kind of the heavier swath of snow to be something, uh, something like this. So it's really all gonna uh, fall on where the low pressure system really ends up setting up. If the low pressure system, and we, we preach like it's the gospel in terms of, of these low pressure systems, but if we have the low further south, it's gonna be a more southerly snow track. 
However, if that low is further north, then it's going to bring the snow further north with it. So that's why it's so important. And these models just struggle right up to the uh, possible snowfall, uh, where exactly the low is going to track and thus where exactly the snow is going to fall. And now I'll show you another model that we would like to look at with these systems as we get towards the potential impact of the event. And this is the RDPS model. Got a 1,002 millibar low eastern Montana Saturday morning. It follows a similar track east, but it, it's even further south, uh, the RDPS model. So the RDPS model has the low somewhere down here, and then it, that's going to bring the snow kind of into southern Manitoba fully. Not We're not even looking at any snow for the Parklands region or much of the Interlake. We would, would miss out if, if we follow the RDPS model. Um, it just makes it so hard to come to a, a, a forecast when you have these differing model solutions even just a day before the potential impact of this clipper system. So really we have to take a blend of, the, of those three models and, and that would really put our heavy snowfall somewhere in, in this kind of area here which would be basically much of southern Manitoba for potentially 10 to 20 centimeters of snow over the next uh, next couple of days. I know that too kind of looks terrible. There we go. But yeah, that, that just makes it so much harder when the models are disagreeing still, again, a day before the potential uh, impact of this snowfall. Okay, now this is uh, another thing that we look at, especially when the models are disagreeing right up to the potential impact of the low pressure system. And this is our NOAA DESI. This is the national blend of models. Again, it takes a blend of all the different models and kind of brings a happy medium uh, to all these differing model data out there. And, and what it does is it just blends it all together. And so I'm happy with what it's showing. This is kind of old data. The, the new run of the national blend models hasn't come out. Um, so this is this was from this morning at uh, 07 Zulu, but it shows a good story and it kind of agrees with what I was saying. Somewhere in the middle, we're looking at this darker blue area where we're looking at an average snowfall of about four, four to five inches of snow here, shaded in this darker blue across southern Manitoba. So we would probably say that uh, the best chance for a big snowfall this weekend would be Brandon, Minidosa, into Riding Mountain National Park and then following the number 16 east into Portage and then the number one highway east into Winnipeg and then down south including uh, Highway 75 would be probably uh, the best chance for a good snowfall from this event uh, starting Saturday afternoon. So I know that's kind of a whole bunch of still uncertainty but that's the best that I can give you at this point. I think in general Somewhere is going to get probably up to that four inch mark, 10 centimeters of snow Saturday night into Sunday morning, but it's still really hard to pinpoint and narrow down which exact area. Just be ready if you live anywhere in Southern Manitoba this weekend that uh, there's definitely a chance for a decent snowfall coming, especially Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment on the video, and please subscribe to our channel. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.